this video, we'll be look, uh, looking at competition. Competition refers to how uh, different organisms will be competing for uh, or fighting over the same resource. So in terms of any changes into the size of or the amount of resources available, that would uh, have an impact on their population size. So here, competition can be largely split into two types. We've got the interspecific competition here, and then we've got the intraspecific competition. And it's important to know the difference between the two. So first of all, we'll look at interspecific competition. Interspecific competition refers to uh, the competition between different species. So remember the word, it, the, the prefix inter, think about things like international, uh, will be things like, uh, if it's an international competition, then it's a competition between different countries, right? Or inter-schools competition between different schools. So inter-specific competition is about different species competing for the same thing. So it could be food, uh, it could be a habitat, whatever it may be. So uh, actually they exhibit something called competition exclusion principle. We say between, let's say, two different species, uh, the one that is less well adapted will be outcompeted. So simply that means that there will be one organism or one species that is not as well adapted as the other one to compete for that resource. So they would fail in that competition, meaning they won't be able to get those resources that they need to survive. And what usually happens is that in that case, the the population size of the less well adapted species will decrease and then sometimes even until elimination. So they are either they would be extinct in that environment or they would simply move to another place to try to find uh, another area where they can get that resource. So that is referring to the interspecific competition. Then on the other hand, we've got the intraspecific competition, so between organisms within the same species. So think about, again, the prefix intra, things like intranet or intraschool uh, competition refers to within the same place or within um, that same population. Imagine uh, even within the human, within the human population, you'll be competing with another person or within the population of lions, then the lions will be competing within the lion for food or even for mates, etc. or for a place to live. And usually with intraspecific competition, we can uh, show it in terms of a graph. So here we've got the time and then the number of organisms going up the y-axis. So in terms of intraspecific competition, it, they would uh, fluctuate, the population size would fluctuate. So in the first stage, you can see that the in the first stage we say that the resources is in excess. So let's say if they are imagining in a brand new environment, there's a lot of stuff around them so that resources are in excess and there's enough for all to survive and reproduce. That is a really, really good term to use. So there's enough for all to survive and reproduce and therefore the population size would increase. And we say at that point, at stage one, there is less competition, less intraspecific competition. So therefore the population size would increase, but however, at, at a bigger population, the amount of resource would decrease because there's more mouths to feed now and there's more uh, individuals fighting over the same place to live. So there's not enough for all to again survive and reproduce. So we're always using this phrase here. And therefore, at that point, uh, there's more intraspecific competition, therefore the population size would decrease after a while, because some of them are bound to be less well adapted. And the population size decrease, and again, because there's less individuals fighting over the same thing, there will be more resources available again, and then enough for all to survive and reproduce, so there's less competition there, therefore the population size would increase once more. So you can see it kind of fluctuates a little bit. It's kind of like that stable state that we saw in uh, in the previous video when I talked about population size. Um, after the first two stages, then the uh, population size would kind of maintain at the same place. But obviously in, in the reality, uh, it's a lot more complex because in an ecosystem, you, you're bound to have interspecific competition as well. So it's important to consider both of them. So here's a summary. We've got competition, we've got interspecific competition, which is about between different species competing for the same thing. So we've got, they can exhibit competition exclusion principle, which is where the less well-adapted one will be outcompeted until elimination or extinction. 
it's kind of the same for the intraspecific competition, except the fact that they um, it's about with the competition within the same species. So you're competing with individuals within your own group. Uh, and usually, most of the time, they would just kind of fluctuate in that sense in following this particular pattern because of the fluctuations in the number of res- amount of resources available in that environment and then the population size in that sense. And that is competition. <laughs>